Good morning once again. We are back with another vlog. Today I'll be continuing the same project, but I need to go to a station first to continue yet another project which involves replacing end of life equipment. So come along, I'm headed to the metro now. Let's go. Okay, I changed my mind. I was supposed to ride, uh, take the train, but the weather is so good today. I've decided to, I've decided to ride my bike. <laughs> It's almost poetic that I end up in a country like Denmark where biking is the norm because I remember when I was in uni and people used to make fun of me for riding my bike to class and back home. I used to ride my bike everywhere because it's just smarter, faster. So it feels really good that I'm in this country. Really good as the Danes would say. <laughs> Today I'll be headed to a station in Fune where I'll be replacing end of life Meraki access points and addressing slow internet speeds. Riding to work is fun, but being sweaty is absolutely not, but that's a trade off I'm willing to make. I'm at the office now and first thing I need to do is check on this uh, router that I was staging for a clinic in Norway and uh, the zero touch provisioning failed and it's partly because this router was sent via RMA. Um, so the iOS is a pretty pretty old version so I performed an iOS upgrade rebooted and the zero touch well not so zero touch anymore worked fine it got onboarded in SD1 redirected successfully and uh, yeah so this is pretty much what I did here before leaving the office I grabbed some access points that I'll be using to replace the end-of-life ones as well as some uh, t-rail mounting kit from meraki it's this small little uh, envelope package this is what's inside you use it to mount ap's in t-rail ceiling types nothing motivates me like walking through the parking lot and seeing some of the cars that people drive here At this point, I think I've been at over 120 locations in Falk uh, alone. That is a lot of traveling in two years. But anyways, I'm at the station and I'm always super excited. My inner kid is happy to see fire trucks. And luckily, the technical manager gave me, was kind enough to give me a guided tour of the station. And yeah. <laughs> it's my favorite thing I saw That's there. The fire station I've been at. <laughs> it's the biggest and most interesting. And then the boat. We sealed the container and put that on the train. We can fit around 2,000 in our kids. Before I could begin my investigations, there was already a fire call out that I got to witness. Again, another one. I need patch cables. So I did my investigations and found out that the 5G router was placed uh, in the basement, which is not, not a signal. So I moved, so I moved it, upstairs. it upstairs where the signal is much better. So I moved it upstairs and then patched uh, the connection back down to our SD1 router. For, I suppose, being the first IT guy to visit this station in many, many years, I got rewarded with some smørbrød, which is a Danish uh, delicacy of dry bread uh, with, with toppings. Things on bread, pretty much is what it means. After moving the 5G, we had some issues. I can't explain it, but I couldn't do anything until we resolved that issue. And up until the next day, it wasn't resolved. This is the next morning. I had to go back again to that station because it took way too long to resolve the issue in SD1. So I'm back now and I hopefully can resolve the issues and then proceed with the AP replacements. And these two guys are so nice, I had to film them twice. 
The next day I moved the 5G router back to the basement because it didn't make sense why it wasn't providing any internet connectivity upstairs. But then I realized the problem. The 5G router is a bit faulty and it needs a couple reboots. So I moved it back upstairs, did some reboots and we were live and with much better uh, speed. Pretty much I wasted the whole day yesterday thinking it was an issue in SD1 because technically internet internet was being provided by the 5G but for some reason our SD1 router was not appearing up in vManage so anyways now to the access point replacements we're removing MR18s and replacing them with MR28s Um, replacing access point is nothing particularly difficult um, you just need to claim the serial numbers of the new access points and add them to the network and automatically they will copy the settings from the already existing uh, access points in the uh, network so pretty much straightforward swap and then they come online no. and you can rename them that concludes All done here. Yeah? Look at my Falk uh, theme sunglasses. <laughs> uh, all done here. Yeah, all APs replaced, and I relocated the 5G router upstairs so the speeds are much, 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 much better. The speeds are much, much better, and um, now we are off to another station. Uh, I can't say the name, but uh, we're going to fix a printer, a printer problem. So, yeah. And I got Jan waiting for me there. I'm gonna follow him and walk. I didn't film much at this station because it would be counterproductive to what we're trying to do. But essentially, the solution we were provided did not work on the printer. Something to do with Microsoft uh, and SMTP. That's pretty much all I can say. But uh, yeah, all in all, it was a good day. I solved some of the problems they were having in, in the other station and replaced the access point. So they should see much better throughput as the MR18s, I think, are limited to... Uh, I can't remember what bandwidth they're limited to, but yeah not good so i'm pretty happy with that and uh, i think the business should be happy in addition to that we decided to get them a fiber um, line instead of using a 5g router so that should stabilize things more and provide more more uh, of a reliable connection so that's pretty much it now okay. i think i'm Hi. saying told that you have to excel 10 times harder than the next person but then you're not part of the culture to say that you can actually come to these disparities is kind of Far I mean, I mean the, the idea that you have to work 10 times harder coming from South Central based on, for example, test scores, obviously not true. We've had affirmative action programs in this country for solidly But now years. affirmative action is gone. It's out the door. Now DEI is program. present. DEI is actually saying that we need to have diversity, equity, inclusion. So you're actually putting a footing in the door for different races, different genders, different women, different men, yes. everything. So now you're saying that because this program is gone, this one isn't. I find US politics thoroughly entertaining and it makes my long drives much shorter just listening to political discourse. So that's the reason I put that in there, is to give you a real insight into how my day goes. But for all the people who have been watching my channel for quite some time, I think you might have a pretty good idea of where I'm headed right now. <laughs> If you know, you know, I'm here at my favorite Thai spot to get some takeaway. And if you guessed that correctly, then you deserve a huge shout out. With that said, I would like to say thank you all once again for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see more of. Till next time, take care. Bye.